because everyone wants like quality leads. Mm-hmm. But the problem is everyone wants cheap leads and they want them yesterday, mm-hmm. which doesn't really exist when it comes to sort of online, does it? Yeah. And we were chatting about this and you came up with this sort of idea of this triangle where mm-hmm. you can only have two out of these three things at once. So yeah. we want to show you what the triangle is that you've created. Yeah, so basically we were sort of it's thinking thinking this way through in terms of what do people want from leads in terms of their, like you said, they want quality, you want speed, you want cost. Yeah. But there's no, there's no way to be able to get the three. You maybe could, when the internet first started, have all three. Yeah. In terms of if you found a source before kind of like Google has really sort of like lifted off in the yeah. early days of the internet, those people that were first in there, first doing the SEO stuff, yeah. could get you know fast leads, really good quality at a really good price. Yeah. But now every fast, every quick and good quality source of leads has now been exploited to death. Yeah. Everyone knows where they come from. That's yeah. why and that's why those click costs suddenly become so high. They come from Google because the yeah. intent's there. People are in the moment, they're looking for it. So you know they're gonna be good, they're looking mm-hmm. for it now, so you know they're gonna be fast. But the way Google and Bing works in terms of the bidding in terms of people just keep bidding higher and higher yeah. and higher until they can make the most out of it. And then the other issue you've got is that, okay, so the biggest online brokers at the minute, the people who do it the best, mm-hmm. they're the ones that in terms of they have a mega nurture sequence, yeah. sort of they have a, a call center with a dialer that sort of goes in. Yeah. And also some of them, what we found with some financial services products, sometimes they'll run things as a loss leader. Yeah, yeah. And so which again, bumps up that cost because they have such a such an absolutely slick process in place. Mm-hmm. They're happy to make a loss on the initial lead yeah. and then think, okay, well, we know we're gonna get this business again through our retention stuff mm-hmm. in about two to five years time. Yeah. And they look at the lifestyle, the lifetime value of the customer. Yeah. Which again just keeps bumping up that cost Absolutely. every time you do it. Um, so yeah, we sort of thought, okay, so that you you can't really nowadays have all three at once. If yeah. you do, fantastic. But yeah. we, you can't really sort of do it going from a standing start. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so what we sort of thought we sort of put together a way that we can sort of visualise that. But we do think you can definitely have two out of three. Yes. Yeah. So in terms of so what we said in terms of so if you want quality, um, okay, so you can have quality and you can have speed but it is going to be expensive, like we just said. Yeah. Um, you can have quality, and it's going to be cheap, but it's not going to be fast. Yeah. That's in terms of, so you've got to put in a lot of your own time. Yeah. Um, in terms of building your audience, doing the video stuff, but then also from an SEO point of view, in terms yeah. of writing that content, getting those video content, getting that on your site, ranking for those pages, it's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. Typically absolutely. with SEO, we sort of say, all right, so you will see some kind of benefit after six months. Yeah. But then that benefit starts to sort of really kick on after 12 months. And then mm-hmm. it's really when you get to 18 months, two years, you actually sort of start yeah. to see kind of the real sort of fruits of your labor. You start to see your impression going up, your clicks are going up. But until you get onto those first page results, that, mm-hmm. that is a, a lengthy process. Yeah. That can be, SEO can be quick. If there are sort of brokers, advisors, or anyone in financial services that have been around for like 10 years and you've yeah. still got the same domain yeah, the that domain you originally bought. bought like 10 years ago, you could probably move a lot quicker and get a lot quicker traction than someone that buys a domain tomorrow. Yeah, that is So true. that time, um, this, you're like, the, you can't, if someone asks us, oh, how quick? There's like so many different factors we'd have to have a look at, but it's not, again, it's not... It's also the local side of it as well. Yeah, and the local. The local side. You're more yeah. like to write for something locally pretty yeah. quickly than you are Absolutely. something nationally. Um, and then I think the bottom one is what pretty much everyone happens to everyone. They have fast leads that come cheap, but they may not be good quality. But the and quality is the issue. Yeah, exactly. And we've all, we've fell into that trap before, trying yeah. to get quick leads fast at a low, a low cost, and I think everyone does. And I think mm-hmm. th- what happens a lot is that bottom one, but we should be looking really at either those two uh, at the top and that sort of, and you can you can go for both as well. If you've got the budget, mm-hmm. it makes sense to go for, if you need leads today or yesterday and you have got the budget, it makes sense to work on both and not mm-hmm. just sp- always spend your budget on the quick, expensive, mm-hmm. good quality. Uh, we've had a client that does have a really good budget and we're trying to get them in the frame of mind to get these ones that are going to pay off later on Mm -hmm. as well because then it's going to just the cost is going to come right down so you can work on both and eventually ideally switch to those slower ones because they're always coming in the best quality leads at the lowest cost come via free organic traffic from google and bing which takes time to rank for so you've got that good quality but you've got and you've got the low cost Mm -hmm. but you you've got to spend the time the search ppc it's the same Call it, uh, same traffic as your organic, but you're paying for it, so it's expensive. So you can have it today, you can get your ads on there mm-hmm. today, get it approved within a couple of hours, get that tr- same traffic, but it is going to cost money. Yeah, and you find it even those, and in terms of there's 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 very very sort of few keywords nowadays where you can sort of get get around it in mm-hmm. terms of 
the keywords that do convert the highest do cost the most. We, we yeah. barely we see very sort of few instances. There mm-hmm. are a few instances we've, we've found, yeah, yeah. but there are very very few um, when you're looking at it from a broad section where mm-hmm. you think, okay, are these 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 keywords look cheap? One yeah. we found things like mortgage rates. Yeah, yeah. it's dirt cheap and it's really attractive. You think, okay, mm-hmm. people are in the moment they're looking for a mortgage, they're looking for mortgage rates, mm-hmm. but it just converts dreadfully. Yeah, um, and that's why it's so cheap. Yeah, exactly. And it could be one of those ones that you could nurture it over again over time. Yes. Because those people are looking because they're in the market. They're just not in the market right this second to ring up and have that conversation. So they could be good quality and they are cheap, yeah. but it's going to take, take time, time exactly yeah. to turn them into something to, to something more tangible. Um, and then the other example is the social media ads or the organic. Got a lower intent in the moment, so they may not convert. Some of them you can convert on the first click, but again, you've built no rapport with them. Mm-hmm. They have no idea like who you are. Um, but they can be nurtured over time with remarketing, with emails, mm-hmm. say with content, sales automation, which takes time. Mm-hmm. So that was that was kind of all we wanted to explain. Really.